Hello and welcome back to Imperion and Galactic Survival. My name is Sponge. Welcome back to this tutorial series of Imperion uh, version 1.10. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, you find me here in the nightshade. I'm flying back to the science station. That is the next thing that we need to do on our little Andromeda strain mission. And as you can see, now that we are airborne, it's uh, getting about is just such, an, uh, such a pleasure. It's just so much easier. I can set course, hit control W for that cruise control, and the ship will basically fly itself towards my destination while I have a look around and enjoy the view. And uh, on this planet, it is pretty damn good, that view. All right, so we'll hit alt and refix the camera back to the ship and take her off of cruise control. We'll come in for landing somewhere about here-ish. That'll do. And uh, there we go. Now, there has been... Um, there's been a bit of a problem with the nightshade on the workshop, as it is. Uh, some of you are reporting that it's missing CPU extenders and all sorts of things. I don't know what's going on. Um, it has all the CPU stuff that it that it needs. The T2 extender is there, as you can see. I've not had any CPU issues with it. It's been wonderful. So I don't know why the workshop version um, is not working, because uh, it's the same as what I've got here. Um, but I'm looking into it, and I shall fix it as soon as I possibly can. Um, you know, assuming Steam actually lets me fix it, of course. Um, the problem is, I don't know what's going on, so I'm just going to try things until it fixes it. Uh, there we go. Anyway, Commander Pendrel. Another devil eyes. Uh, welcome back. I just read your mission report. It all sounds very strange. You said you talked to one of those creatures. Are you sure you didn't just imagine that? Maybe the stress of the battle. Whatever, I'm giving the PDA you brought to the lab for analysis. Please come back later. Okay, it's later. Hello again. I must say, you've made an incredible discovery. The PDA is apparently over 1,000 years old. Unfortunately, it was destroyed during the readout. Still don't think these beasts are intelligent, but apparently one was trying to communicate with you. Whatever, if there's any truth to it, we'll have to investigate. Find these so-called elders. It's best to ask your contact. I know where they are. They're in the quarry. We found them already. Find my axe, that's right, you hang your head in shame. You hang your head in shame. After all, you're definitely the one out there murdering these creatures for um, green blobs of goop. Definitely wasn't me. Nah, uh, uh, uh. Um, okay, I guess we've got to go and ask the Elder in the Mineral Synth Lab anyway, because, um, you know, that's, that's the mission progress, isn't it? So, yeah, generally with these missions and stuff like that, it's best to not go off the beaten path too much <laughs> if you do you generally end up screwing up the uh the the code for the mission and then it not working so um yeah try, try not to do anything cheesy or, or sort of roundabouty make sure you always go through the front door take the most obvious route and do what the game kind of expects you to do um hostile drones in holy moly just a few of them as well look at this just a few drones all right we got this Get above them and then just rat -a -tat, tat 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 until they're dead. It's a good job that I did bring uh, the nightshade in at this point then, because if we were doing this on foot, I'm not sure we'd survive. This is a lot of drones. Taking them on one at a time is easy enough. Taking them on, what's that, five at a time? Not so much. <laughs> not so much. Some a little bit more difficult, some might say. Okay, uh, I am going to loot these things though, because each of them do have. Um, fuel cells in them and they're valuable at this point in time uh, again shift F uh, to loot instantly into your backpack um, and I'm just crashing into the ground there as you can see just to get a sort of nose front on the uh, on the drone quickly whip out shift F whip in nice quick loot and um, you know, this ship is so freaking fast and maneuverable that it, uh, it's so easy there we go Alright, so I'm going to definitely hide the nightshade inside this time. <laughs> You're not going to make the same mistake twice. Not again. Not after I've done it three or four times. Okay. Let's go in here. As it's tight and it's small and nimble enough, it can really get in there, can't it? Right. Thrusters off and jump out. Now, there is uh, something that uh, we need to do. Oh, I gave myself a assault rifle over the pistol, by the way. I figured, um, <laughs> why am I still carrying a pistol around when, I'm, when I've got an assault rifle? So we've got that. Now, last time I was here, I totally neglected... Okay. Totally neglected to loot these boxes. 
Um, I'm not quite sure how they opened up, but uh, they are now open, so we can grab those. And Tony neglected to loot that one as well, so we can get that. There's some nice cobalt and iron and silicon and copper in that, so that's very nice. Plus a, a diggy diggy mechanical drill. Not that we have a hover vessel that can use this yet, but uh, you know, it's it's all right. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Um, we definitely looted that, didn't we? Now, the other thing we didn't do is go down here. There were some glowy red-eyed raptors down here last time, so I'm a little bit kind of like, I'm not sure I want to be here. Uh, but uh, we need to we need to go down here. There's one of them. Hang on, he hasn't spotted me, he hasn't spotted me. He dead now. Give me your raptor meat. Uh, okay, just regular meat, I'll take it. Um, cheeky reload. There was another one. All right, I got them all. One of them has unfortunately disappeared into the wall, but uh, that'll be fine. I'm guessing that opens that door. Lovely, in case we've got an escape route. Fantastic. Um, yeah, it's definitely worth coming down here because um, there is a loot container down here somewhere. Yeah. Hmm. They've definitely changed this because it used to be around here, um, but it doesn't appear to be here anymore. Huh. Okay. Well, let's go this way. Generators down here. Down here. That's not one of the friendly ones, is it? It's grey and not uh, blue. The friendly ones are a sort of blue tinge to them, didn't they? Alright, there is a crate down here, though. Um, we're going to have that. It's another bloody shotgun. I keep getting these, don't I? Oh, look at that. That's nice. Are they, they're for hover vessels, unfortunately. I was hoping that would be for SVs. That would be super nice. Laser drills. Two of them. <laughs> Tidy. Absolutely tidy. Very, very nice. 200 CPU each. Um, those are definitely more powerful than my hand drill. Uh, but they do need to be on a vessel that has an ore and wood container, a harvest container. Uh, which we'll come to um, later, uh, you know, when when that situation comes up. For now, we have cleared those levels. So let's go to the top and talk to our friend... Hi. Us, fear, deceiver, attack, settlement, cavern, help, you, trust elders, knowledge, protection, danger, all. So, air, map, quickly, elders, danger. You want me to go there and help? All right, and could have just said there. Oh, look, the old quarry. <laughs> you saw that coming. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I may have jumped the gun a little bit on the old quarry there, but it was totally accidental. They didn't realize. Anyway, all is fine now. Oh, uh, we'll stop it. Right, so the other great thing about having a vessel, there was another one of these drones have rocked up. Look, can I turn around? I can. Oh, so teeny tiny this ship. Hi. Oh, I was all over the place then, wasn't I? Oh, 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 oh. All right. Let's get you. Uh, the other great thing about this teeny tiny vessel is you can turn around in teeny tiny holes. Grab your giblets. Thank you. Um, okay, the old quarry then is four kilometers that way. No problem. We'll control W to put it on autopilot while we hit up F4 and do some inventory management. Um, there is a fridge on this ship, of course, so we can put our things that need to be chilled in there. Lovely. Why am I carrying around still these green blobs of goo? I don't know, but there we are. Yeah, there's the science lab directly below. Hi, Mr. Pedro, let me do my me. <laughs> Instantly, just having a, a small vessel in, you're just like, it's so much more powerful. <laughs> it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Look at all this. The only, the only problem with this is, of course, we're, we're missing out on a huge amount of, like, fruits and vegetables and things like that that are down there to loot and just flying over the whole lot. How many, uh, how many plant proteins have we just flown over, you know? Yeah. We we'll miss out on all of it. So, uh, this supply of food and hot beverages and stuff like that will inevitably just dwindle down uh, until we have um, until we have created ourselves a farm okay here we go I mean we've cleared this so I don't know if it would have um, uncleared you know I'm slightly wary of leaving my ship up out here I might take it in actually let's just do that we'll just take it down it's small enough it can, it can land on the ground down here Easy. I think we're on something. Yeah, we're on a bit of debris, but that's fine. That way, if a drone does come along and decide it wants to tear my ship apart again, 
Like, it can't. <laughs> it can go and F itself. Hi. Uh, how you doing? I think we found them. Let's see if they need help or attack us straight away. Hello, biological. Thanks for pacifying the frenzies. I had to kill them all, unfortunately. Um, don't worry. Is this the same dialogue that we've... Um, yeah, this is the same dialogue that we had before. Um... Oh, okay, there's a little bit more. It is difficult to express ourselves in our in your language. Once, one of the stars was here. Like you, he lived with us. His essence has been absorbed into us. Weird. Um, I negotiate with you on behalf of the biologicals. We are surprised. The biological, who is similar to you, but not the same, was already here. His name, Pendril. Yes, that's his name. He, he wanted our essence, but we couldn't give it to him. He didn't understand. He became angry. He threatened. We, the metal ones, are back. Quick, biologicals. Please, you must defend us. What the? Metal ones. Ah, the drones. See, it's a good job I did bring my ship down here because we're surrounded. I need to turn my thrusters on. That would be helpful. Aye. Yep. Yeah, boy. Don't catch this, can you? Hey, All right. We'll do a full loop de loop and spinning around a bit. Come down onto these drones. The bitches they are. <laughs> oh. I took a couple of shots there. You're too low, you see. You gotta be above them. They can't shoot up. What happened here? Are we being followed? Talk to the elders again. Yeah, sure. Let me just loot these suckers, though, yeah? There's our new combat track kicking in. And out again. <laughs> we did actually take a hit. I don't know if we took much damage. Um, let's have a quick check with the old multi-tool. I didn't see any blocks pop off, but it definitely... Ah, uh, they hit the gun a couple of times. That's fine, the gun can take it. The gun can take it. The little, fiddly little half blocks on my ship, though. They can't. Um, so, yeah, I, I forget to mention because it's completely automatic to me, but uh, I'm going into third person using V. By the way, <laughs> it's just... I don't even know. This is this is my problem with doing a tutorial series. Like, there's so much of it is just like habit. Uh, I don't even realize I'm doing it. So it's difficult to say. Oh yeah, I do this by the way. So if there isn't anything that I'm doing, and you're like, "Spanish, how the hell are you doing that?" You, what, 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 how? Just let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to to explain. Um, but hopefully, I'll I'll catch myself doing it, and yeah, make sure I say, "Oh yeah, that's how I do it." By the way, right. Back to the elders. Hi! Thank you again, Biological One. We don't know how to gratitude you, you, Biological. But we can offer knowledge. What is the essence Pendrel wanted? Please, we, we, we can't give you the essence. We are the essence. We are the energy. Gather us earth and stones as bodies. We are the structure that connects everything. We are connected to the world. The world is connected to us. We feed on the vibrations of the great black stones. Power and life. Life and power. Grow. Power and life. Do you understand? Uh, I guess. And the one you call Pendril, he's obviously hunting us down for our essence, as you called it, the flying metals. He also had them with him when we first met. What are you going to do, Biological? Bring the truth to light. Something fishy is going on here. We thank you for help. We are grateful. Here, take these free creeper substrates as a gift. What? Uh, they are not yet growing, but you might find a way to utilize them. We try to calm the frenzied ones, even if not much success due to the constantly rising overfeeding by the energy vibrations getting stronger. Thanks. Xeno substrates. <laughs> That's great. Wait, where were they giving me Xeno substrates? I mean... Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, thanks for the Xeno, I guess. That box is full. Look at that. Imagine if we didn't have this ship right now. We'd be just have to drop so much or not be able to pick so much. Or have to do so much back and forth. Drop it off. So, you know, big win. There we go. Um, back to the station. All right, we're going to go and confront this son of a bean about his murdering of intelligent beings. How dare he? All right, Pendril. What the hell gives? So the Hishgal knew my name, you say. Interesting, but rather unlikely. Perhaps you are a little exhausted by the unfortunate events you were part of. But I think your mission here is accomplished anyway. With the data we have, we have enough evidence to plan a large harvest. Ah, further investigation of the Hishgal. Thank you very much for your help. I have already reported to headquarters. Now please leave the shuttle. We will launch any minute. 
You won't get away with this, you bastard. Hmm. 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 I want to shoot him in the face. Hmm. Um. Problem is, there's a missile turret right there. <laughs> there's a laser turret right there. And they've got a big friggin' flat gun turret on the roof there. Uh, yeah. So, I'm not sure I'd, I'd win. The report has been sent. And something is already happening. Ships are approaching. And I'm reading a strong gray radiation from the shuttle. Commander, Technical Officer Rend is calling you. Put him on. Sir, the security systems are suddenly going crazy. The security system has shut down. I'm tracking multiple bomber and drone coming to our location. We're defenseless and we cannot... Wait, this is not... Sir, it's Pendrel. He's rerouted all controls of the shuttle cockpit. Sir, you have to stop him. Nothing would make me happier than to go and shoot Pendrel. Turret's back online, but we will not be able to withstand its massive attack. With oh, crap. Oh, boy. Yo! Yo, big fight! Big fight! Lots of bombers and shit. Holy crap. These guys are difficult to shoot down because they move so fast. Whoa. Whoa, they're crazy maneuverable. Stay on target. Stay on target. This is a bad bomber. Look how much freaking damage it's taking. What the hell? Just freaking totally just... What? Alright, the bombers... We're going to have to deal with the bombers. But we can deal with the little drones straight away. Those guys are nothing, right? Taking hits. Now for the bombers. What the? <laughs> okay, they're a bit wild. Let's be honest. They're a bit wild. That's it. Fly in a straight line. Good lad. Good lad. One down. The other one. Lost him. There he is. You guys have full health. I've got the ammo for this. Die, you son of a bitch. Yeah, right, definitely loot the bombers. These guys have got more goodies in them than the normal ones do. That was a fusion cell. There's a fusion cell and rockets. Nice. All right, we're back. So we need to board the shuttle now. All the guns have turned off, you noticed? They're all powered down. I think we're about to upset Polaris. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're about to make Polaris very unhappy with us. You know what? I'm okay with it. Oh shit. Me. I am being shot at. Wow. Didn't expect that. Gotta admit. Taking a little bit of surprise then. Any more of those suckers around? That looks like one over there. Wait, is that another drone? Yeah, it's another bomber. My god, another bomber, another drone. We gotta double check this area. Any more? Yeah, there's loads of them. Cyborg guys everywhere. Right, there's something flying around here. We got a drone. That's the Polaris one. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, reputations aren't instantly demolished now when you accidentally shoot something. Thank you very much, Elion. Got another bomber though. Where did this one come from? Killed them all. Meanwhile, Pendril is making his escape. <laughs> all right, another bloody bomber down. Hopefully, no, no more will show up. Getting kind of a bit old now already. Alright. More fusion cells though. Very welcome. Where the hell's the science station gone? Uh there it is. Right, should have no more cyborgs dotted around. 
and hopefully no more bloody drones. Just the Polaris drone, which is fine. Polaris drone is not the enemy at the moment. This is Commander-in-Chief of the Disk Fleet. We have been informed of a severe policy violation. Commander Pendrel, do not resist. You are under arrest. These so-called specialists. That's close enough, sir. I have a question, if I may. How is that no one at headquarters knows about you? Who are you? Why are you disturbing my work here? Anyways, goodbye, specialist. I won't forget their help when I return the favour you did for me. What the... Pendrel, you lost. Give up. I said your weapons are non-lethal. Shoot at Pendrel. I stun him. He's not here. He's not here. What? Arrest Pendrel. I can't. He's not here. <laughs> Where is he? Um Something's gone wrong, I think. I don't know, maybe Hmm. Bear with me a second, guys. Let me let me try and figure this out. Alright, so I can't I can't seem to get this to work. Um I tried restarting the game, flying away from the POI, coming back again. The only thing I haven't tried is regenerating the POI. Um because I'm afraid with you know its weapons now turned off and stuff like that is regenerating it would, would upset it even further. So this is a situation that does come up quite often. I see quite a few tickets on our, our servers about you know missions not working and getting stuck and stuff like that. So it's quite common in Imperion um, for the missions to just absolutely bug out and just be st stuck. But fortunately, um, Elion know this. So they always give you the option to manually override a step in the mission. Hit F1, go to solo missions, um, find the... the the mission you're on because it, it says it Andromeda Strain 5 on the right hand side there Andromeda Strain 5 over on the right under actions then we can just tick arrest Pendrel gives you a little warning um, so yeah Pendrel's not even here so we can do that uh, so mission accomplished talk to Rend talk to Mr. Rend now Mr. Rend was the guy in the lab in the dome right let's go see if he's still here um, or if this is completely and utterly gone absolutely wonko. Um, so there's still a bunch of people here. You look like Pendrel. <laughs> is that where you've gone? Eh? 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 Officer. Mm. Um, Mr. Rend, I think, was in here. This guy here. China Rend. Yeah, here we go. Pendrel escaped. <laughs> what? <laughs> so was he supposed to be there or not? I don't understand. Uh, that bastard, we risked our lives for him, and he was only after those Hishkal and their essence. I didn't think they were intelligent. Damn, they'll probably never trust us again. We have some making up to do. As interim commander, that will be my job. At least, thanks to you, a beginning has been made. I won't forget that. Keep your eyes open and good luck. Da -da -da. You have uncovered the machinations of Commander Pentrell and prepared the ground for a first understanding between the scientists and those Hishkal who have not yet gone mad from the progenitor artifact radiation. Uh, Polaris Megacorps was sent to Ninguez because apparently Pendrel's actions were not sanctioned by the company management. He was working on his own account uh, on a previously unknown, for a previously unknown client. The trail leads to a dangerous pirate clan, the Silurians. Pendrel apparently escaped in the turmoil of the battle. He has sworn revenge on you through the grapevine for messing up his plan whatever that plan may have been just keep your eyes open when you meet silurians in the future a solution to the problem of the artifact radiation which is both a new tune for the hishkal and their undoing has not yet been found the logs found by dr onko hayal and the information from the hishkal elders indicate that the nature of the radiation has changed recently hishkal are poisoning themselves with the consumption of the radiation they need to grow and live you have also learned that you might find out more about Tash Aki Atalen and your comrades of the Operation Phoenix Fleet on the planet Omnicron in this system, Elyon. All logs that were found can be read in the PDA and the tab of solar missions. There's a lot of reading. Um, right, so there we go. Still no red keycard though, is there, hey? Still no red keycard. Well, there's... I mean, there's definitely nothing like... Um, that I haven't found secret passageways or doors or anything like that um, so yeah 
I'm not sure what to do about that. Whether the reason you, if, whether there even is something to do about that, I don't know. Uh, anyway, that's interesting. So there we go. We've completed the Andromeda Strain, whatever it is, Strain um, part mission of Ningues. Don't forget that each starting planet has its own little custom missions now. So this won't be the same missions that you get on um, Akua or Masperon or Skillion or Ashen Orbit. Any of those. It won't be the same. It'll be different. So, um, yeah, it's worth checking them out, I think, because that was quite fun. That was quite interesting. Uh, it's a shame it bugged out at the end there. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. I mean, now that it say that he escaped, it's like, well, maybe uh, it was he wasn't supposed to be there. And the mission should have updated with, oh, he's gone. Hmm. You, you arrested him, you know, it ticked that off for us, but it, it just didn't. So who knows what's going on? Anyway, uh, what we're going to do now, well, there's several things that we can do now. Obviously, it gave us the the next job is to go to Omicron, right? So if we have a look at our map here, we've got three maps in the game. Hit M, opens the local map. We've already used this and had a look at it, and we've explored this planet and yada, 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 yada. Uh, then at the top here, we've got three tabs. Current map, the solar system map. And this shows um, us on Ningues around Crown Gas Giant. Here we are. In the orbit, we also have Sienna, Omicron, Simos, and Wabian Moon. There's also a little asteroid field over here. It's all bit peel the row or something like that. Okay. Um, and then we've got the galaxy map, which is the next tab along. And this shows all of the other stars, solar systems throughout the galaxy. We can also turn on the territories thing here. And we can see all the different territories of the various factions. And we've only discovered the Polaris. So we know uh, from the key over here that Polaris is the orange. We don't know what the red, the purple, the light, uh, the sort of teal, purple, uh, the other purple, pink, kind of cyan, and that's not cyan, what is that, magenta, uh, red, all the other little dots are. We don't know any of those. At the moment, we haven't met them yet. We'd have to go there and find out who they are or find them in other ways. Um, so that will come. That's like... You know, something we'll be doing much later on in the game. So we won't worry about that for now. For now, we'll worry about this map and this map. All right. Now, the next thing really for us to do is to just get off this moon and go find somewhere a little bit more nice to live. And that would be Omicron would be our next target. We select Omicron and then select the info panel checkbox here. We can look up all the information about Omicron by selecting this little planet tab up here. So lots of clicking, click the Omicron, click the info panel, then click the planetary information tab and you'll get the planet, temperate prairie, it's medium, it's 1.1 G's, zero radiation, it's regarded as easy, it's breathable and you can have CVS, SVHV and some bases on there, yada yada yada. And those are the resources that, that um, are on there as well. I'm going to go and sit in my cockpit so I stop freezing to death. Would be a good idea. All right. <sighs> Uh, if you click on this one next to the planetary tab, which is the little orbit information, it tells you about the orbit. So you can do that on any one. You click on any of these and it'll tell you about the orbit, what's there, what resources you can find there. You can see this asteroid field is actually chock a block full of resources. Um, and you can also do the same with the planetary information one as long as you click on a planet. You can see that's a barren metal. That's on Omicron. That's a snow planet. Um, and we can stick in Gillian and Derek Desert Baron, Masperon. Alien Swamp, it gives us the information of all of them. As soon as you don't click on a planet, though, it automatically switches back to the orbit information. It will stay on the orbit information even if you then click on a planet. Just keep that in mind. So a couple of nuances there. Um, the system info gives you information about the Elyon system itself. Not particularly useful um, or anything like that. And then you've got the list of all the all the things. All right, so pretty useful stuff. The map, you're getting used to it. There's some good stuff there. Okay, I'm going to head back to base now. We're going to think about our next move. Right, uh, well, actually, that's a point. There's the obelisk. Do you remember this? Oh. oh. Matrix taker detected. Configuration. Compatible. Imprint and access permission. Enable. Key matrix. Generated. Well, um... That gave us something called the key matrix. Now, if you remember all the way back to the beginning of the uh, series there, we tried to open the door on this obelisk and it said you needed the key matrix to do it. Well, we have that, so we can now do that. Welcome, aspirant of the ascension. Deepen your knowledge and face your test. Uh, cool. 
I will face it. I will face it good. There's Tales of the Tash damage data pad. And we'll read that out loud for your you guys can read that if you want to. Uh, it talks about going through the teleporters, I think. Right. So, all members of the expedition teams report to responsible base commanders. Maximum alert level supplied. Important. All vessels. System error. Technician has been informed. Uh, okay. Wow. Data portals. The portal down here. I missed that. Seems down. It's definitely disabled. It's not glowing or anything. Um, but I think we can go up. Up, 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 up. We can go all the way to the top of the tower. And we have teleporters up here. Now, each one of these teleporters, I believe, if I recall correctly, will take you to one of the other starting moons and um, enable you to collect all of the logs of Tash El Talon, the, the person we've been collecting these logs. Bear in mind there are like 16 of them. There are 16 of these logs. So, again, we can have a look under the Tales of Tash under the PDA. And logs found where to read uh let's see if we can find the total number that we've got somewhere saying that we only have one of 16 at the moment so i'm a little bit like mm. okay do we have more than that yeah we've got four logs so far so we need 16 logs if you if you're interested the thing is it's entirely optional this thing it's literally a bit of background story and lore um, I don't think it gives you anything particularly exciting, fun. But if you wanted to read all the logs again, story mission log, activate mission, and you can go through them that way. Uh, but the other thing that we need to do, if we're going to head over to Omicron, is we're going to need some Pentaxit. We need to basically have a warp jump capacity of 5.3 AUs. Um, so that requires the little purple crystals that I picked up. Now we picked up a bunch of those from the synthetic lab, synthesis lab, whatever that lab with the uh, the Hishkalin and the drones that nearly blew up my ship was. We picked up a bunch from there. So let's go ahead and refine those and see how much we've actually got. So yeah, we can see in our oh, a small constructor there we got eleven um, raw pentaxid. Now each raw pentaxid could be refined into two refined pentaxid. Uh, so we just build 11 there. That should hopefully give us 22 pentaxid. And if that's enough to get 5.3 AUs, then we can go. But I don't know what to do with all our materials. <laughs> it's like we've got quite a lot of stuff here. I could just stuff it into the factory, I guess. But oof. All right. So similar to when we're fueling up the nightshade, once you've got that, you can select the pentaxid tank from F4, the logistics system. Uh, nightshade pentaxid tank and then just transfer the refined pentaxid over uh, and then we should be able to see uh, we have 22 AUs of, of pentaxid there so we've got more than enough to jump over to um, Omicron there then that's good and you can see that in the bottom right corner sorry I didn't say that did I? <laughs> where are you looking Smash? Oh, yeah, that bottom right corner 22 AU they might you might not be able to see it because my friggin watermark might be over it but um, it says 22 AUs uh, next to the little crystal icon there. That's how we can see how much range we've got with the fuel that we have here. Uh, so, we could definitely make it over to Omicron, that's fine. Uh, I've got a few things that I want to do before we go over there, though. We've got some stuff that I want to sell. So, we've got... I don't remember seeing an ATM there, there's no problem. Let's remember, yeah. Well, uh, we can definitely sell the Raptor meat, though. So, let's take that. I think that's a commodity, so it doesn't even spoil, doesn't even need to be in the fridge. And we can sell the alien organism. Um, I've got a spare installation boost. I've also got a bunch of like extra shotguns and stuff I'm probably never going to use, but I don't think they will take that. Spare parts, again, I'm not sure that's something that they'll take. But um, I'll take it anyway, just in case they sell it. Here we go then. Um, so he will buy... The insulation boost. Wait. Oh, he will buy. This always confuses me. Buy is in what I can buy and what I can sell, not what he's buying and not what he's selling. I can buy, I can sell. It, it always just me messes me up, right? So 
Oh, the Xeno substrate. Look, you would have bought that. Eh, not for much, but we can sell the uh, organism now. I don't think we're going to need that anymore. That's 19,000. Very, very nice. And the raptor meat. That's... Oh. I swear he was... That's fish. <laughs> I swear he was buying the raptor meat last time. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Or oh, he's not even, not even the spare part either. Uh, well, okay. At least I got rid of something, I guess. Yeah. Now you know. Meat, egg, alien parts and tooth. Uh, fuel packs. Fish. This isn't even here on this planet, but all right. Mutated substance. Technical artifacts and ancient relics. Xeno substrate, which the, the Heshkal did give us. And painkillers. Cool. Oh, no. He doesn't buy those. He sells those. Sorry, I'm getting confused again. Okay. There we go, then. I think we're done with this place. There can be a bit of um, a bit of confusion about what the hell to do at this stage of the game. Like, you know, okay, you've done the first mission. I've got a base. La, 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 la. What do I do now? Well, the mission did give us a bit of a clue. It said, send us to Omicron, which we've already talked about. We need to go over there. 5.3 years. We've got to jump. But we've got all of our stuff here. So do we just go and then come back and then go and then come back? Pretty much. Pretty much. But the next logical stage of development and progress for the game is to get something called a capital vessel. And for that, I'm going to be bringing in an old favorite of mine, the Hammerhead. This is a tier two starter capital vessel, and it has everything you need uh, in order to get going in the world. And it's, you know, a very capable little ship. Great little uh, landing pad on the back for a small vessel as well, like the Nightshade, so. Uh, it should have everything we need to. The only thing I think it's missing is an ammo box because I stupidly forgot one. But there we go. It um, requires 3,576 iron. 1,780 neo. I'm not going to read all of this out, but you get the kind of idea. It needs a lot of resources. You know, we needed hundreds for the nightshade. We need thousands for uh, a capital vessel. Um, and in our box, we have a grand total of 600 iron and 100 cobalt and... 200 and 300 silicon but we acquired that without even really trying and also pretty much doing all the mining on the little hover bike here now that we have uh the nightshade with us and it has three times our inventory space we can really go hard with doing some mining and stuff like that so that's what we've got to do next in terms of progression uh but as just as before we also need to unlock all of the things 28 devices required in this capital vessel um so have a look at our tech tree go to capital vessel we got 329 points that we've unlocked by leveling up and doing the story mission so far um now i, I can do this off of memory pretty much because I, I generally remember building uh the hammerhead so i know that it's got large fuel tanks and o2 tanks o2 stations cockpit gravity generators um large generators thrusters small and medium a t2 cpu extension flank grow lights projectile turrets uh, a warp drive ammo con doesn't have ammo containers. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't have ammo containers. I messed up. Never mind. We're going to need container controllers and extensions, though, medical devices, shutter doors, and automatic doors. It has ramps, it has boarding ramps, it has landing gears, armor lockers, it has a detector, and we're going to need a T1 polarized shield hull, hull shield thing, uh, although it doesn't have one. Uh, how right was I? Oh, pentaxi tank, ventilators, and seats. So close. Passenger seat, pentaxi tank, and the ventilators, and weirdly, in misc. But there we go. We can now add that to the factory. Bingo. And now we can start acquiring the resources we need in order to bring this puppet in, which is going to take some time. Now, I would say at this point, don't rush. Do not go right that's what i need i'm now going to spend all my time mining and acquiring resources to get this in i mean don't get me wrong you can if that's what you want to do go for it go nuts break a leg and all that but um for most of you i would say don't rush the resources will come you can do some mining here and there do some missions here and there and stuff like that um, the other thing you can do as well is anything that uh, you're not going to use, like a chainsaw, because we've discovered it's useless. This drill module, because, well, who wants that? The projectile pistol. Um, and the silly little things like Uzis, uh, we're not going to use those. Uh, force fields, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, okay, things like that. All right, you can load onto the connected toolbar here. 
as we've done with plenty of other things, and we can just chuck them straight in the factory. And you know what? They contribute their re raw materials to the factory total. And there you go, we've made a start. Uh, and we've got rid of some useless crap that we weren't going to use. So that's nice. All right. So now that we've got that in the factory, let's go ahead and load up the nightshade for a bit of a trip. Because we're going to go over to Omicron. I'm going to see what's going on over there. Maybe do a bit of mining on the way back. And so we've figured out what in the hell it's all about. Now, uh, we've got six fusion cells. That's going to be my spare fuel. I'm going to get my constructor making some more ammunition because we went through a crap ton of ammunition uh, when we were fighting those drones. So let's get another 20 uh, sets of 15 millimeter ammo. And I'm going to get my large constructor here uh, working on some oxygen. Uh, now, we haven't needed oxygen so far because, well, this is a breathable planet. But we need oxygen. And for that, we need water and steel plates. Now, it can make water out of the little bit of ice that I collected. Okay, but I think it's probably going to manage just one oxygen bottle. Mm, not great. There are several ways to make oxygen. You can use your survival constructor built into your suit to produce a water O2 condenser, fuel it up with some biofuel, and it will slowly produce oxygen and water out of that. There's also a placeable device called a water generator. Here it is. This can be placed on the ground, also like your portable constructors and like the O2 generators. It can be placed in water, uh, fueled up, and it will extract water containers directly from a body of water. I don't have a body of water nearby. I have a couple of little ponds down here, but I don't really fancy the walk or the trip down there, to be honest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to produce about three of these. Each of these costs three carbon substrates. So I'm going to give myself nine carbon substrate. I think I'll be all right. Uh, da, 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 nine. Oh, ten. One just for luck, apparently. All right, okay. So uh, one, two, three. Produce three of those. I'm going to stick them outside. We're going to chuck a bunch of biofuel in them, uh, which we have hmm, none. I think it's all running through the... Oh, no, there it is. Yep, 28 biofuel. That should be be plenty and they're going to produce oxygen bottles for us it's going to take a little while but uh, i think it's probably going to be better than producing the water down here lugging it all the way back there then producing the oxygen bottles now yeah, once you've got your oxygen condensers then you can stick them on your bar and we're going to place them down here uh, along with the other devices there let's grab that biofuel there we go and then each one what i'm going to do is going to place in about nine biofuel each And they're going to run, like, you know. Now, if you're placing these devices down, I'll just real quickly say, and it, it goes for all these little placeables like that, they generally all have this allow faction access, little tick box up there. If you're playing multiplayer, and you want your faction members to be able to access your little portable devices, tick that box. Okay, so these are going to run, and you can see next product in 160 or so seconds, it's going to produce a small O2 bottle. It will produce three small O2 bottles in about the same time so we have a bit of a wait for us there's two options we can go mining or yeah we can go for a kip we sleep on our tent and uh there we go we're in the middle of the the this is a morning lovely morning very nice let's see how our bottles are doing oh look at that 13 bottles of oxygen and 12 bottles of water that didn't take long at all uh let's go up to our nightshade hit p and then we can see that's how much oxygen we got from that 102 bottle that I managed to produce from the constructor. And that is how much we get from the other one. So we're going to put the remainder in there and we'll put the water that we got in the fridge. It'll be useful for making some food and stuff like that later on. All right, there we go. The only thing that we don't have a spare is pentaxid. And we're going to have to basically try and forage that on our way. Um, but the nightshade is ready to go. Topped up with the ammunition we made. We've got a full tank of oxygen, almost a full tank of fuel, and enough pentaxid to travel 22 AUs. I've got on me a ration pack. Uh, we have some health pods and med kits. I have ammunition, charges, explorer tokens, the key matrix. Um, do not lose. <laughs> so keeping it on me. And some extra power bars as well, just in case. Yeah, we're going to go for a nice long trip now then. Let's go. And the waypoint I made on um, my base here will persist now. 
regardless of whether I'm on the planet or not. But I'm going to point the ship directly up into the sky and it will take us out smoothly, seamlessly, without any kind of lag or jank <laughs> to space. <laughs> I could give a straight face. And here we are. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to space. We made it off the planet. Could have done this a little while ago, I'll admit, but uh, here we are. We're here now. Um, I just hit the detector up that's built into my ship there, and it's revealed uh, what I believe are resource asteroids over in this asteroid field over there. Um, Commander, tracking a weak communication signal coming from Omicron, uh, the arid planet in the system. We should follow the signal. So there we go. There's more about going to Omicron and stuff like that. Um, I will, however, go and check this uh, asteroid field out before we do that. From here, we can also see the other starter moons that we could have chosen. Masperon, Akua, and Skill on the other side of the asteroid field over there. We can go down onto each of those and we can recover the tales of Tash Al Talen uh, if we wanted to continue collecting those PDA fragments. You're more than welcome to do that yourselves if you want. But like I said, it's just a little bit of lore. It's a nice bit of lore, don't get me wrong, you know? But I've done it already once and uh, yeah, I don't need to do it again. Tension. Signatures have been detected. This orbital sector between the four moons. Use your detector to find them in the asteroid fields. No, oh, we already did. <laughs> Catch up, game. Come on. Catch up. Generally, the first thing that you do when you enter orbit, space, a new sector, is hit that detector and fire it off because you never know what is lurking in space. You could think, oh, everything's fine. There's no nothing around. It's empty space. And the next thing you know, your ship is being blown out from underneath you because a sneaky little Xerax patrol vessel has found you or just happens to be in the area that you've uh, entered the system in, you know. It does happen. Unfortunately, there's a lot of ice asteroids here. A derelict station, ladies and gents. Derelict station. I will arm my weapons just in case. I think, you know, it being called a derelict station and stuff is fine. We're not going to have any problems here, are we? You never know. There is a red dot um, on the scope, actually. Laser drone battered. Hmm. I much prefer my laser drones unbattered. But here we go. We'll take this little guy out. It's only a drone, after all. And there we go. There seems, seems to be an SV up here in orbit as well. Now, getting out of your spacecraft in space here, a uh, bit dangerous. Don't do it for too long. <laughs> you thought the planet was cold? Oh, boy. <laughs> you have no idea. Ah, right, yeah, there's a little SV up here as well. Ah, uh, yes. The destroyed transport. Oh, yes. Well, if you want SV parts, ladies and gents, this is where you come to get them. This thing is chock-a-block full of thrusters, and devices, weapons, fuel tanks, uh, loads of stuff. A warp drive, for crying out loud. The game is literally giving you an almost completely working SV for free. Uh, so if you hadn't built, like, you know, one with a warp drive already, um, but you've managed to make it up here, then, yeah, slap a core in this and off you go. I don't have a core on me, unfortunately. I do have a constructor on board, uh, but I didn't bring any resources with me to build one. So we could, in theory, uh, go to Devices, Constructor, Access, and I can build a core, providing I have five computers and three optical fibers. Well, I could probably salvage those parts if I start taking that ship apart. But instead of the ship, maybe we can take apart this station and what's on it, and then salvage the ship. I mean, even if we don't use the ship and we just break it down for parts, that's still a lot of progress in the factory towards our capital vessel. Now, this is going to be really difficult because I don't have an EVA boost that protects me from space. Um, basically, I have to go out, look around, have a quick check, and then jump back into my cockpit again before I start freezing to death. I do have a couple of hot beverages on me which will stave off uh, freezing to death for a short while, but not for long at all. Okay. This station, I thought, was a Polaris station, or what used to be a Polaris station. But actually, I think it's a Talon station. Error, 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 error. Try access the cache. Uh, cache contains 23,445 messages. Restoring access restricted. Messages denied. Trying to restore unrestricted message. Only one found. Show. 
Evacuation alert. Enemy units have detected at the edge of the solar system. Teleport link to Omicron is down. All non-military personnel proceed immunity to the transporters. All soldiers to battle stations. We'll show this silent plague the ropes. Good luck to us all. General Fazit, 3rd Progum Elite Corps. Check for teleporter activation procedure. Initializing. Search running. Malfunction. Main shutdown has been activated. Try to reactivate function of the teleporter. The main power switch must be set to on. Mark position on the HUD. Main power switch down there. Oh boy, we got bad guys. We got bad guys, and I have a limited amount of time up here in this. Raise in. Freeze in. All right, I need to get out of it. I'm gonna start freezing real bad. Zero G combat. My least favorite of the combats. All right, he's down. He's going to drop coolant. This is a reasonably valuable trade commodity. Intruder detected. Internal defenses. Oh, that's not good. All right, so where's the teleporter then? Try accessing the uh, console again in a second. Error, 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 message, da da da, initializing database, main power switch must be set to on, which it is, leave. Another robot. Where is this teleporter? Is it around here, or is it up that elevator? Now exploring it without an EVA boost is sucky, <laughs> to say the least. Oh man, I, I, I don't think there is one. I don't think there is one. If there is one, it's gone. It's long gone. There's no teleporter here. There's a lot of death. Where's my ship? I was hoping to get another PDA, but uh, I certainly think there was a PDA here last time, but this station has been changed. I think I don't have a lot of time to like look very thoroughly. This is this is the other drama. Another elevator that goes up. Whoa. Okay, this teleporter takes us straight to Omicron. I guess so, if we didn't have um, warp capability, fuel, or something. <sighs> that takes us to Omicron. Secret teleporter OC station, Omicron control station, Omicron sector. And we get back. This is the thing. I'm, 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 I'm hesitant to leave the ship here. Just uh, have a little play in a teleporter, you know? <laughs> Can I get back? If I go. Alright, we're going to assume we can. One way to find out, guys. We're going for it. Alright. Wish me luck.